Hello everyone, this is Dr. Anmol. I am a doctor based in India and on this channel I talk about all the things relevant to being a doctor and a dermatologist in India that I learned along the way. So if you're an aspiring or a budding dermatologist, you're gonna wanna subscribe. Now coming straight to the agenda of today's video, a lot of you have been asking me about which topics are to be read from which books. Now I understand why that can be so confusing because when you join residency, you uh, hear all these big names of these big, big books and uh, you have no idea about which one you're supposed to read. So there's IADVL, there's Rooks, Fitzpatrick, Bologna, and there are 50 other different books that you will hear the names of from your seniors. So I understand the confusion and I went through the same thing when I joined. In this video, I've come up with a great solution for that problem. Firstly, I think I can give you a small tip. Now you know that there are uh, there are majorly there are four standard textbooks in dermatology. There is IADVL, Rooks, Fitzpatrick, Bologna. Now, is me say if you are a dermatologist uh, practicing in India, IADVL is something you will have to read. Apart from that, now you are left with Rooks, Fitzpatrick, and Bologna. You cannot read all three of them. What you can do is, however, you can read few topics from each book as in what you can do is you can read psoriasis from suppose you read psoriasis from bologna you read a topic dermatitis from fitzpatrick you read uh, a porphyrias from rooks and if you read one topic each i think you will figure out eventually which book suits you the best i think all the three books are great and there is no consensus about which one is the best because different people are going to recommend you different ones but i think the only solution to this is the same thing i also did i think you'll have to read a few topics from each book and then figure out which one do you like the most now if you don't want to do that i have a better solution since i had gone through all this trouble of figuring out which topics are best explained in which books and i have had, had i had to ask multiple people about what to read from where i thought i would make this a little easier for you so i have made this pdf this document in the form of a pdf where i have mentioned in detail which topics are to be read from where I have made these with great detail and consideration because uh, when I was preparing for my exams, I used to have this major fear of missing out on important information. So I used to feel like if I'm reading this book, what if there's something better explained than that book? And I know it's stupid, but I think uh, if, if anyone relates to this, uh, you know, so that happened. And so I read, read from multiple books. And so now as a result of that, I... Uh, have figured this out about which topics are best given in which books. So I think this document can save you a lot of time. It has all of the topics mentioned and the best places where you have to read them from. Now this document is basically my personal opinion about where to read these topics from, where I had read them from myself. Other people might tell you differently and they won't be wrong. I made this document purely based on my personal preferences and where I personally read them from when I was preparing. So I, I thought that it was explained well in that particular place and it worked for me. I did fairly well in my exam so I think uh, you can rely on that. So if you want this list of which topics are to be read from which books, I have put the link in my description. So please click on that uh, and that's how you can get it. In here, I've mentioned about all the topics, right? From structure, embryology, anatomy of the skin, up to, uh, you know, dermatosurgery, dermatotherapeutics, aesthetics, everything that is relevant to your MD exams, uh, which has to be read from where. I think it's one of the best resources that I've made so far and it's, it's going to save you a lot of time and energy. So click on the link in the description to know more about this product and uh, you can also reach out to me if you have any queries. You can reach out to me on Instagram. Also, a lot of you have been asking me about thesis topics and um, thesis related guidance and uh, I am planning a video really soon. Uh, I have been busy because I have some exams coming up. But as soon as I can, that's something I'm planning on doing next on a priority basis, the thesis video. So uh, stay tuned, uh, subscribe. And if you found this helpful, please support me by liking and sharing it with people. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one.